Hello everyone and welcome back to Cactus Sound. If you are passionate about audio equipment, today's video is especially exciting. We're going uh, deep into comparison between two industry giants, the DPA 2017 and the Sennheiser MKH 416. I've had a long journey with the MKH 416, using it for over eight years, but today we are putting in head to head with the DPA 2017. Let's find out uh, which one comes out on top. Let's start with a bit of history on the Sennheiser MKH 416. Launched over three decades ago, this microphone has built its reputation as a robust, reliable and versatile tool perfect for the demanding conditions of outdoor recording and studio setups alike. Its distinct sound character has captured everything from dialogues in film to the subtle nuances of nature. Enter the DPA 2017. A uh, relative newcomer, but already making waves in the world of professional sound. The DPA 2017 is designed with modern technology, aiming uh, to meet evolving demands of today's audio professionals. With its advanced features and neutral sound profile, it promises versatility and clarity. But how does it really measure up with the seasoned MKH 416? In my hands uh, are these two remarkable tools. On one side the Sennheiser MKH 416, a microphone that has been a part of my most significant projects, known for its resilience and exceptional audio quality. On the other side, uh, the DPA 2017, sleek, modern and equipped with features that are meant to challenge the status quo. It's a face-off between tradition and innovation and I'm thrilled to take you on this journey of discovery. This video will be recorded on both mics and I'm going to switch between them uh, during the whole episode. And what's more important, there will be uh, no processing added, no EQ, no denoisers, nothing. Now let's delve into the physical aspects of these microphones. This is where we begin to see the distinct path each manufacturer has uh, taken. The build quality isn't just about durability, it's a reflection of the philosophy between uh, each microphone. Look closely at the Sennheiser MKH 416. Its metal body, matte finish and robust design speak volumes about its readiness for challenging field conditions. Its length and weight have been a benchmark for shotgun mics offering a balance that many sound engineers, including myself, have come to trust. The DPA 2017, on the other hand, brings a modern touch to this legacy. It's slightly lighter than the MKH 416, which can be a factor for those who operate boom poles for extended periods. Its brass body and sleek design are not just about aesthetics. They are engineered for resilience and performance. Handling both mics, you can feel the difference in craftsmanship. The MKH 416 feels like an old friend, familiar and reliable. The DPA 2017 feels like the future, sturdy and refined. It's this physical contrast that sets uh, the stage for our comparison. How does this translate into their performance and sound quality? That's uh, what we are here to find out. Let's get technical for a moment. Here are the dimensions and weight of both microphones. While these numbers might seem small on paper, in the world of audio recording they make a huge difference. The MKH 416 has been uh, the industry standard for its size, fitting seamlessly into various setups. The DPA 2017's dimensions reflects its modern engineering, aiming to offer uh, similar versatility with a contemporary twist. Let's dive deep into frequency response. This is where the soul of each mic uh, is revealed. The MKH 416, known for its pronounced presence boosts, 
particularly excels in capturing the sibilance and detail in speech. This characteristic has uh, made it a favorite for film and outdoor recordings where clarity is key. In contrast, uh, the DPA 2017 offers a flatter frequency response. This neutrality uh, is its strength, providing a more accurate representation of the original sound. It's particularly beneficial in controlled studio environments or when you want the truest capture of the sound source without added coloration. But frequency response isn't just about numbers and graphs, it's about how a microphone interacts with sound. So I took these mics to the live room in N Studios, recorded me talking in more usable environment, switching between the MKH 416 and DPA. 2017. Listen carefully to these samples, notice how uh, the MKH416 responds at a certain sharpness uh, to the sounds which can be great for cutting through ambient noise and hear the DPA 2017's recordings. The sound is more natural, almost as if you are there listening in person. So here's the test, we have Sennheiser MKH416 on my left and DPA 2017 on my right. We are in the live room uh, in the N Studios in Poznan here. Thank you for letting me in to do this test. And for now let's do a little comparison one to one. I'm going to switch in the video between the mics uh, so you can hear the difference. They are spotted uh, straight into my mouth at the same height. And yeah, let's go. Let me just find you some English poem. Or you know what, I'm going to read you the thing from the radius box, which is the mount I'm using for DPA. Uh, I've got it to do the test too, so enjoy. With three generations of experience, it's safe to say microphone accessories are not just a business, but a part of our family. We strive to deliver high quality products at honest prices, whilst also assisting our customers with advice and support. Yeah, so multi-purpose box. And now where the mics and stands are separated, I'm going to perform a test uh, during which I'm going to go around the stand to see how they perform when uh, the sound source is coming off axis. Now I'm in the front and going left, looking at the mic, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, again 90 degrees, and I'm going back in the front of the mic. And this is how Sennheiser sounds when you're moving around it. Let's go and see how DPA is going to perform. So I'm standing in front of the PA and going round. Now I'm going left and I'm 90 degrees. Now I'm going to the back of the microphone and I'm at 180 degrees, back to 90 degrees and back to the front of the mic. And just a little test of going a little bit left and a little bit right. So you can hear, oh, my bones. <laughs> Probably. I can't hear it because my recorder is over there and I have no headphones, but I guess uh, you can hear the difference. Let's go to the Sennheiser and the same. Going a little bit left and now going a little bit right and back to the center. What do you think? DPA or good old 416. I know this test isn't perfect because Sennheiser's uh, boom mic is, or shotgun mic is uh, a little bit longer. It's an older construction, but I wanted to do this test because this is my go-to mic for every situation. And this is the one I've got for tests. So let's see if I'm going to change my mind and upgrade my kit after listening to those tests. And so since we have uh, uh, quite 
new Boompol from Boombody. Uh, we've done a test to compare to Ambient and Rode. Uh, if you haven't seen it, just go and look uh, for the video on my channel and you'll see why the Boombody Boompol is with me, with us, uh, for a longer time. So, <clears throat> this is the DPA 2017 on a radius mount attached to the Boombody Boompol and let's see how well this setup will perform in hands. Is it light? Is it loose? Is it not? Let's see. So, okay. It's way lighter than uh, our old mount with, uh, from Rode with uh, 416, that's for sure. And the second thing is I uh, I instantly feel that this is way more tight, I guess. This uh, shock mount looks way better than the road one, which is not a surprise, of course. It's uh, totally different quality of the products. So my friend Adam, who I guess you know from other videos, uh, was using this uh, this setup, exactly the same setup, on the shoot uh, a week or two ago, and he said it is very very comfortable to to work with because of the uh, the weight and because of uh, that he's sure the mic is not loose. It's not making any noises, any handling noises. Let's see. I'm not hearing anything loose here. Probably there won't be anything on the recorder too. That cut, just in case, to avoid this air movements. Yeah, let's maybe go even longer. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so still, still comfortable. Now we move to a critical aspect of our comparison, real-world performance. How do these mics behave in a typical recording scenario? To test this, I am recording it in a room with an air vent uh, in the background. It's a common challenge in location sound recording where you need to capture clear audio while minimizing unwanted background noise. In this test, we are focusing on how well each microphone isolates the speaker from the ambient noise. The MKH416 has a tighter supercardioid pattern, which has uh, historically been great for rejecting off-axis sound. But let's see how it fares against the more modern design of the DPA 2017. Notice the sound profile with the MKH416. Its directionality helps in focusing on my voice, but how does it handle the air vent noise? Listen closely to the nuances and tonal qualities. Now let's switch to the DPA 2017. Observe the difference in sound isolation and the quality of my voice as captured by this mic. The DPA 2017's design aims to provide a balanced capture of both the primary sound source and the ambient environment. We've covered the physical and acoustic aspects, but now let's delve deeper into the features of these mics. Each has its own unique set of qualities that make it suitable for different applications. The Sennheiser MKH416 is revered for its durability and consistent performance in a variety of settings. Its interference tube design, high sensitivity and ability to handle high sound pressure levels 
make it a versatile tool for everything from film sets to outdoor broadcasting. The DPA 2017, while newer to the scene, comes packed with modern technology. Its precision engineering is evident in its consistent off-axis response and flat frequency profile. It also boasts a high SPL handling capacity, but with a slightly different sound signature compared to the MKH 460. So what does this mean for you as a user? If you're working in an environment with lots of ambient noise, the MKH416's directionality can be a lifesaver, but if you're looking for a mic that captures sound in a more natural, true-to-life way, the DPA2017 might be your pick. Let's not forget about the build technology. The MKH416's tried and true design has stood the test of time. The DPA2017, on the other hand, reflects the latest advancements in microphone technology, with a design that's both robust and sophisticated. Finally, let's talk about the price. The MKH416 has been a reliable choice for years, but it comes uh, at a premium. The DPA2017, while also a high-end microphone, is priced competitively, and both microphones cost at around 1,000 US dollars or euros or whatever. I found few offers on the web starting from 9.99 to uh, 1,100 US dollars for uh, each of them. The MKH416 has been my faithful companion in diverse environments. Its ability to handle humidity and temperature variations combined with its focused uh, sound capture makes it ideal for challenging outdoor shoots and demanding film sets. The DPA2017, with its natural and flat sound profile, shines in studio settings. It's excellent for capturing the subtle nuances of vocals and acoustic instruments, offering a clarity that's much sought after uh, in high-quality music production. But what about indoor dialogue, interviews or even live theater? Here, the DPA2017's broader sound capture provides a more realistic and immersive audio experience, while the MKH416 might be preferred for its ability to reject ambient noise and focus on the speaker. Let's break it down. For film and outdoor broadcasting, the MKH416 is often the first choice due to its proven track record in uh, these fields. But for studio recording, voiceovers and situations where sound authenticity is paramount, the DPA2017 offers an anti-sync alternative. So, which microphone should you choose? It really depends on uh, your specific needs. Are you mostly outdoors, dealing with the elements and needing uh, the tight sound capture? Or are you in a studio looking for most natural sound reproduction? Maybe you need a mic that uh, can handle a bit of both. These are the questions that will guide your choice. When considering value for money, it's crucial to assess not just the upfront cost, but also the versatility and the type of work you'll be doing. The MKH416 has proven its worth over time, but the DPA2017 offers modern advancements that could be more aligned with current and future audio recordings needs. Remember, the best microphone uh, is the one that fits your unique requirements and budget. Both of these microphones are excellent choices, but depending on your uh, priorities, durability, sound quality or specific features, one might suit you better than the other. As we wrap up in our in-depth comparison of the Sennheiser MKH416 and the DPA2017, it's clear that both microphones stand tall in their own right. Choosing between these two isn't just about specs or price, which is the same almost. It's about what fits your specific audio needs, your work environment and your, and your personal preference in sound. MKH416 might be your choice for its proven track record, especially in outdoor and demanding environments. On the other hand, the DPA2017 could be your go-to for studio work and scenarios where natural sound reproduction is key. So, is there a definitive winner? In my view, the real winner uh, is the one that best meets your needs as an audio professional. Both mics have their merits and will serve you well in different situations. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts on this comparison. Which microphone do you prefer and why? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on this journey of sound exploration. Your support means a lot. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Cactus Sound for more in-depth reviews and audio discussions. Until next time, keep capturing the world in its truest sound.